Howdy folks, Grok the mayor of Grokville here, and you can see my place is looking great. I'm also playing on the FTOG All the Mods 8 server, and uh, there have been some updates here. And as you can see, yay, here, let's spin around and take a quick look. Uh, my builder hut is tier 5, uh, which means she can now build any tier level building. Um, my town hall is still tier 1, because I uh, haven't done anything to upgrade it, and I was thinking, but mistakenly so, that I needed a, a tier one hut to make a tier two and then a tier two to make a tier three. And no, no, the, the I can't make a tier three town hall without having already a tier three builder's hut. That's the, the limit, as near as I can tell. Uh, I also threw down some paths. These are the alleyways. And it put uh, spruce as the border. And I said, nope, nope, I want smooth stone. It kind of echoes better the stuff that's going on here. I said, nope, nope, going to do that. This is the warehouse where I get to keep all sorts of uh, stuff. And uh, uh, here, there we go. I, uh, I, I, <laughs> Frank here uh, is my delivery man who's running around and putting stuff into these uh, racks. And uh, you can see there's tons of stuff. That's where I've been shoving stuff into here. Uh, and then uh, this is his delivery hut. And that's also tier five. And it's just pretty. I like these. I like these a lot. And I noticed when this was done, it's putting down its own cobblestone border around the plot, which I really like. Uh, the Initially, I was looking at this and I was going, okay, did it need to go up a level, down a level, because it didn't care about this outer plot? Hey, <laughs> it didn't care about this outer plot for the higher tiers, but for tier one, it does. And that puts that border around it. Uh, I, I think I'm going to get rid of the cobblestone border. I don't need to see that right now. But while you're prepping stuff, I think that's an excellent idea. Uh, since these guys are all tiered up, I'm going to decorate them like this guy. I, if, if you were to make this, uh, say this is a tier four building and you upgrade it to tier five, it would chop some of the, the stuff that's in this box of the, the building. And it would just get rid of it. So I, I won't decorate until it hits tier five and then it's safe. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I was thinking of putting up another courier building uh, just because I, I made two at the same time. Uh, let's click this. It's fundamentals. Nope, 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 nope. It's infrastructure. All right, now I've got to find it again. It's not military, it's not walls. Not decorations, not educational. There it is, craftsmanship. It's under storage. They, they've got so many different things, it, it makes it sometimes difficult to figure out what goes where. All right, so let's bounce that back. One more, there we go. And then, yeah, let's move it over so it's not overlapping. And that's because of this little thing here, these little uh, panels. I can't have them any closer than this. But that will work. That will work. Yep. Okay. Let's make that a thing. Ta-da. Okay. So that that will help. One of the things that's really nice about... Uh, oh, hey. Let's do that. Let's grab some emerald blocks. One, two, three. That should work. Uh, one of the things that's super nice about having a deliveryman and having this warehouse in place is there's tons of stuff in here from building construction and upgrading and, and you're just sitting here because there's no work for you to do. Well, that's okay. Uh, and, and it's one of those things that uh, has been super handy. Now, this right here is a stash. This I can drop stuff in and will get picked up over there. So I don't really want to... Do this. Uh, let's let's put the uh, emerald block. Oh, dang it! I shifted them into here. All right, let's grab those emerald blocks again, and let's put them into the stash. And and now my courier will come and and do a pickup. This is the part where you come and do a pickup. Uh, anyway, so that's that's doing that. Um, we'll we'll give him time to to do that. Over here, I. I had to move my stuff around a little bit just because uh, the road was in the way. And if we go down here, I had to rearrange things because this spot right here is right in the middle of the town hall. So that doesn't work. Uh, and then that's a little nice little piece to keep me from going too far. 
Uh, anyway, this right here, I have an entangled block that is attached to or mirroring or whatever you want to say. It's entangled to the piece over there that is the warehouse, which means I can access all the contents of the warehouse here. I can also, here, let's go in here, uh, grass. There is no grass, but I can also use this. Uh, I had a, a, a shulker box and um, I can pipe things into this entangled block too. So let's go ahead and drop in the grass. It's gone. And there it is. So it, this is another way of having lots of good storage. So if you don't have a, a massive uh, storage for your you know, refined storage or stuff like that, you don't need to do much. Why are you not doing anything? Oh, you, do here, let me work for you. get past those things. Now you should start working. They, they don't have a home. They, they not really had beds to sleep in or restaurants and there's no guard towers around. So they're, they're getting kind of persnickety. Uh, so anyway, uh, since he's not going to grab, I'm going to grab these emerald blocks. He already grabbed them. <laughs> I didn't even notice. I, I was too busy over here. Uh, I was bad mouthing him and there they are. Grab these emerald blocks and come back over here because I want to upgrade the storage even more. So if we look at this one, it's nine across and six deep. But if I come into here, main, uh, where do I want to? Here it is, the storage upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade once, twice. I have to go back in. Oh, I have to go back in. Huh. Okay. So now I have maxed out my storage. There's, there's no more storaging upgrades I can do here. And if we look at the storage now, that's a whole lot more room for everything here, which I think is a fantastic idea. So this is, I don't know how many dozens of these racks in here. So this is a lot of storage. Super, super helpful because when I build something new, hey, speaking of which, you're supposed to be built. Oh, but I didn't actually say go in here and build. Build. There we go. Now my builder will actually do the building. Let's see, are you here? Nope. One of the things I'll do is I'll recall my worker here. And now that she's here, kind of kicks into gear and goes, oh, okay, I need to build stuff. And if we look at the required resources, she's not started yet. Once she does, then all the required resources will show up here. And anything that already exists in the warehouse, which would be a lot of it at this point, my courier will bring it here. So I don't have to do that work as much anymore. All I need to do is just check things. There we go. She started. Required. Okay. So my builder here has these items with her right now. Uh, the rest of these things probably exist over in the... They're in the warehouse, probably. And um, we'll just let her uh, do her thing here. So, yeah, this is... Oh, she's breaking my lights. <laughs> I've been tossing around a few mana lights. Uh, what are you breaking? Oh, okay, yes. I will help a little bit. Oh, too, I helped too much. Anyway, uh, so that's that's what I'm, I'm doing here. Loads of fun with these guys. And I'm, I'm impressed with the, the, the build. I, I like how it's got a lot of fun textures there. That's, that's fun. And, and I, I really do like how Mine Colonies has these tile roofs. They are super cool. Um, they look so much better than stairs. I've never been a big fan of stairs for roofs. Yeah, that right there, not a big fan. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, and build some stuff. I think what I definitely need to do, I need a house for these guys and they need some guard towers because uh, they both been complaining big time about that. So uh, I'll do that. I have good news and bad news. Uh, the good news is the clipboard is a really fantastic piece because it tells you what the colony needs, not stuff that can be handled internally. Like uh, if the builder needs something that it can, the, the, the mine colonies can send out a request to the delivery man to pick it up from the warehouse and drop it off. That doesn't show up here. Anything that doesn't show up 
uh, in or it doesn't appear in the warehouse shows here. Uh, so, you know, I, I, I keep a close eye on that. Plus, I've done some upgrading here to the, the area. As you can see, there's lots of uh, space back there because uh, the bad news, yes, the barbarians do show up and do invade. And that was not nice because the first one showed right here. <laughs> right here, one of these squares right here, they had set up a little campfire and there were two guys, uh, three guys that I had to chase around and kill. Uh, but my guard was uh, doing a good job of, of stopping that. Uh, speaking of guard, yes, here, uh, there is my uh, guard shack. Uh, this is working on the tier three, tier four. I think this is tier four that this is working on. Uh, I made here the hub uh, for the waystone right there. And uh, this is the, the level two of that. And there isn't any other, but that, that works out well. Uh, we already showed off that and that. Um, got the an actual setup here for housing. This is a tier four. It's going to be upgraded to tier five any, uh, as soon as that one is done. We got a second guard hut going, second delivery one setup going, and uh, just went ahead and, and filled out the area. If we take a look at the map, uh, I went ahead and filled out this area, and you can see where I ran out of uh, dirt. Uh, not dirt, but uh, grass. Uh, lots and lots of grass. This was a lot of grass. Um, but anyway, yeah, lots of dirt just kind of filled it up because I figured why not? Uh, I started out with a little run of three blocks wide going out and put some, some, uh, torches down to, uh, stop mob spawns, which seems to have been very much working. Uh, but I noticed that, uh, the second round, uh, there was, uh, some guys that spawned right out on one of the, uh, the walkways way over here. Which I said, aha, they do spawn up further out if there's more range for them, which is the, the purpose for having all this uh, dirt around. Uh, third, third, third group uh, was, again, out here. And uh, so first group right there, second group that way. Third group was this, uh, a, a mummy <laughs> that was over there that I went ahead and killed. Uh, anyway, so all colonists are tucked into bed. And so let's go ahead and sleep the night through. And uh, you want to give them a chance to actually sleep and then they'll, they'll be happy. Uh, I've been getting some influenza, so I've been feeding them potatoes and carrots because that's how you fix influenza, of course. Uh, what I do want to do is I've got here the university because there's a lot of research that's gating some functionality. Uh, like I'd like to have a barracks and get all sorts of armed forces here to protect my base. Uh, but I need to get a barracks. I've got to have the university. And you can see that if we go to mine colonies. And let's go barracks. So I'm looking for the barracks, but it requires research at the university to be built. And I'm glad that it tells me this. Otherwise, I, I would try to build it right away, which would be a problem. Uh, anyway, so uh, as soon as... The upgrades here are done, then uh, that's going to get built. And also over here, oh, there's a second uh, resident hut. Uh, over here is a restaurant because I'm sick and tired of feeding these guys. Uh, because, you know, if, if I wanted to feed these guys, I'd, I'd have a, you know, pizza delivery you know, job. But I don't. Uh, instead, what I, I do have some fish and chips <laughs> I've been feeding them. And that, that works out really well. But uh, I would like to go ahead and, and uh, get these guys all taken care of. Now... There's four villagers that can, citizens that can go there, uh, and then one each in the guard towers. That gives me a total of six that I can have in my colony. So as soon as that's upgraded to five, there'll be another one uh, that comes into the colony. Uh, and then I'll upgrade this one to five, so I'll have ten plus another two, so twelve total. And I'll just keep adding more and more that way. So that's that's what I've been doing. Uh, and then And then just for fun, as soon as you know, the, the building is up to tier five, then I get rid of the, the cobble around it. And I think I mentioned, you know, then I start decorating around it because, hey, fun, why not? Uh, anyway, so that's, that's what I'm doing. I just need to slowly push these, uh, that to a tier five, and that will uh, enable him to have some good armor. Uh, he's been using an osmium sword, but he won't actually pick up the osmium armor. He's still using the... Uh, the, the mechanism uh, lapis armor, which is like less than iron as far as requirements, but um, a, a really good armor 
uh, it's it's comparable to iron or, or higher. Uh, we'd like to be able to get more of these on there, but maybe as soon as he's uh, tier four, I'll do that possibly tier five because there's several really good armors that would be good to set up with that. Anyway, uh, that's what I've been doing. He's still tier one. I have, I did bring over some sheep and, and bred them up because I have, wrong one, this one here. I've got my mana steel shears. <laughs> and uh, because of the spells on them, they give me random colors. And there's also the chance that the, the, the wool isn't actually sheared off of them. And you, there we go. Sometimes it's even three or four um shearings before they're they're done you know the the roll is just right so then i i come over to here to pull the all the wool out oh, i don't think i've got enough room i don't uh, i'll have to shove that in shove 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 get the rest yeah i'm down to uh 407 dirt <laughs> or, or grass uh anyway i, I had a huge amount because i did many many uh chunks in the mayan uh dimension before we did this uh let's go wool wall wool so i've got uh lots of different color wools and i at the main base i've got over a million a million a thousand uh wool that i've i've uh, sheared off of uh, various things and turned string into wool uh so i've got plenty but this gives me the ability to make the carpets and whatnot that are always added to every one of these builds just because it it helps uh let's click this she's got a little thingy on her head okay she wants more food uh i can see why and let's give you uh two things of uh, fish and chips eat them and enjoy it's been a chunk of time since that that last segment and i've been just pushing the builder around upgrading various buildings getting stuff built uh let's uh, spin around here and take a look at this guy uh, this is the research hut, and uh, Jacob here is manning the station. Uh, what you can come in here is you can research various technologies, and now that this is up, we can we can see them. I've gone ahead and, and researched a bunch of these. This unlocked the hospital, the library, first aid, so they have more health, which is grand. Uh, unlocks the school. This unlocks the mystical site. Uh, I need to do remembrance. Oh, that's the, the grave yard okay oh but i need a level two town hall and i don't have that so i can't do that um while i was busy doing other things i said but research 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 so my guards need 500 percent less sleep i the the wiki says 50 eh you know what's an extra zero uh tactical training means that got the barracks unlocked which was very good because as soon as i built this there was a little message saying barbarian scout has been caught in your 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 village and they probably are going to you know start invading more so you should build a barracks which i said okay <laughs> so that you know I had to do that um now my knights can use shields uh improved leather they have a little bit more durability oh i haven't gotten taunt yet uh i need to uh, get these uh, ingredients to to do so and let's take a look at technology and uh, this is a big mess uh, it's great. It's compact. It has all this information, but I don't want to sit there and go through and and say, OK, where is the specific one I want? I go to the Mine Colonies wiki and I do a search on the research page because I was saying, OK, where the heck is the barracks? <laughs> and so I had to do a search for barracks and said, ah, there it is. Uh, I haven't done anything here with the technology side of things. Um, compositors, um, I, I don't have any farmers yet scrolls are interesting i was reading up on some of that going oh there's some interesting stuff stonemasons would be good uh a sawmill would be very good so i'm looking at that oh wait didn't i tell you to start researching something i thought i did oh oh oh, oh no i need uh bones yes i need eight oh but i need the town hall yes so i can't do you ah uh, taunt okay so let's get you can see I just made some shields here out of refined obsidian. Uh, no, I want to click that. There we go. I need bones. I'm going to do my best work for you. Thank you. You do the best work for me. And then it was eyes, spider eyes. I have just a few of those. And I think it was also rotten work flesh. Work. What are you complaining about work? All you do is sit around reading papers all day long and thinking like it's hard. Okay, 
<laughs> Anybody who tells you that thinking is easy it hasn't had a, a job where you're you're thinking a lot. Your brain is oh no, can't do this one because I don't have the time. Your brain is a, a massive amount of drain of energy because it requires a lot of energy to uh, do. Ta da! Think okay. So that because it's tier one, it's going to take half an hour to research, which gives you kind of an idea of how long I've been doing stuff with him. I uh, got my second uh, house set up. Um, I, I want to get that upgraded really fast. This has saved me a lot of work. This is the restaurant. Uh, Ishan uh, has control of my, let's go inventory, uh, fish and chips, lots and lots of fish and chips. Those are pretty dense, easy to make. Uh, that works. Uh, fish. Okay. Barracks are going here. It fits very, very nicely. Uh, although that's really annoying because she's going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth on that. Oops. <laughs> yeah, back and forth, back and forth is very inefficient. So let me uh, see if I can help out this a little bit. There we go. All right. I'm assuming that that's going to be the standard uh cobblestone border around it so uh this over here is the other thing that's been annoying uh they've been getting influenza every so often so now i have a doctor with with of course the little plague mask face uh let's come into here uh whoops oh no i want to go to inventory uh, i added some carrots and potatoes which is what the the people need to be cured of influenza so if you ever catch a flu now you know eat some carrots and potatoes uh this is a tier five uh guard house which is as max as it can be and so i have beefed him up he's now wearing magical refined obsidian armor and that works out really well this is i think tier three uh it's time to keep push him up as well as well as uh, get the barracks going because then i um I think as I add people to the barracks, that's their home, just like uh, for the, the guards, that's their home. And that frees up areas in my uh, huts, uh, my mm, huts, <laughs> in my homes here so that they can. Um, oh, you know, I'm going to have to uh, at least upgrade this before I can add anybody there because everybody has a job. We got the researcher, we got the 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 cook here and we got the doctor and that's it everybody now has a job so yes this will have to be upgraded so i have a free person so i can put that person into the barracks and then that will free up that slot which means i can set a second person into the barracks and as i keep upgrading the barracks i can have more and more and i'm trying to remember the last time maybe 20 uh there, there's a bunch of fighters you can you can get out of there which is which is very very nice uh one thing that um oh see here's the yep he's got the enchanted uh, armor on so roland is uh my top tier guy i need to enchant the shield i just made it and didn't enchant it uh anyway uh so this has been going along and it's slow because i just have the one builder uh, but one of the things that i can do to speed up the builder uh, i i did mention I think uh, the clipboard, which shows me open requests for anybody. If somebody needs um, something for like the, the cook here needed some coal for his furnace. Not that he's going to actually cook anything because I'm supplying him the food at this point, but he, he, he wanted the coal. So I said, fine, here, have some coal. Uh, people that that are going, oh, hey, I need, you know, the, the builder. I need some, you know, stuff for building this stuff. It shows up here. But... Linda mentioned this, the resource scroll, which wrong button, uh, which is super easy to make, uh, are cheap, cheap, easy to make. Oh, let me show you the, uh, the, the clipboard. That's, that's also cheap and easy to make. Oh, it just one, one piece of leather versus two pieces of leather. Anyway, the, the thing that's nice about this resource scroll is I bound it to this builder hut. And now when I right click it, it tells me everything that's there, which has made setting these guys up so much easier for building stuff because I can stand right here at my crafting grid, right click and go, oh, I need some logs and I can control G to, to access my main base storage and pull in the, the resources. Or I can come in here and take a look at the, the stuff that's in here. 
And I decided, okay, let me let me supply a lot more. You know, I'm using lots of blue cobblestone shingles as well as the uh, the spruce cobblestone shingles. Uh, so let me make a bunch of those. Oh, I need a lot of these framed papers. Let me get at least two stacks of each of those. And I just went through and grabbed a lot of the the commonly used resources for all of these various builds. A lot of stripped wood. Uh, not the logs, but the wood. So you, you do a two by two of the logs that turns into wood. A lot of the things that are being used <laughs> that, you know, these little things over here, a lot of these stripped wood panels, that's a stripped wood wall and there's a stripped wood fence, lots of the stripped woods. So I said, fine, I'm going to make at least a stack, if not two stacks of everything that I've been using up to this point, uh, which, which has been good. Uh, sometimes I will come around and, you know, she's laying out the, the cobblestone. I'll do a quick cobblestone lay for her just to speed things up, you know, because I, I could do that easily enough. Uh, anyway, this has been working out great. I could, when, when she said, I am doing the barracks, I said, fine, let me go ahead and grab all these things. And I can either dump them straight into the crafting grid here, which means it goes into the warehouse, which then gets pulled over to here. Or what I was doing before is I was standing in there looking at the, the, the builder hut table, seeing what I needed grabbing it from my local resources uh, at my home base, dumping it in, sometimes coming over here, grab stuff, forgetting what I needed, going back and forth. So much faster just stand here and go, what do I need? Oh, birch lugs. Okay, let me grab a bunch of birch lugs. <laughs> and, and when I'm grabbing birch lugs, I'm not just grabbing some, I'm grabbing a stack or more. <laughs> and so I'm going, let's, let's save things. Let's make this easier. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, the other thing I've been doing, even though they're pretty close, is I've been recalling my builder because as soon as she gets here, she's ready to start working. But until she comes down from her, her apartment, comes walking over here and then goes in, nothing's happening. So might as well speed things up. So, because it takes a while, uh, it takes a long time, but this is working out very nicely. I, I do need to remove this border now because that's a, a, a built building. <laughs> I was trying to think of another word for building, uh, but th this is fully upgraded to tier five. So I can remove that and then I can start decorating, you know, add some trees and whatnot. Um, I can also add something on this end because I, I like these trees, tall scraggly trees uh, around here. I think that's cool looking. Um, this one still needs to, to be worked on. Uh, that needs to be upgraded to having two couriers has been nice or they're not couriers, delivery men, couriers, couriers. Uh, anyway, that's been nice to have. I need to uh, make some more, uh, like I said, citizens, but I was mentioning that. Oh, looking at stuff. Uh, school. I've unlocked school, which as uh, kids are born to the colony, they can go to the school where they can level up their stats before they grow up. So that's, I haven't built that yet, but that's unlocked. Barracks, I unlocked. The hospital, I unlocked. Uh, library, I unlocked. I'm not 100% sure what to do with the library, uh, but, you know, I, I can go ahead and do that. Uh, and then I also just uh, unlocked the mystical site, which is completely new to me. Uh, so I'm, I'm not sure what on earth that is. Uh, I do need to also make some things that I don't need. Here, let's go to mine colonies. Uh, there's the mine. Where you had blah, 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 farm fields. A lot of... There we go. Uh, the mine. I need to make a mine because that's required for some of these additional um, researches. You've got to unlock them by building various things. Uh, so, so I need the mine, even though I'm not actually going to mine anything with it because I'm way up in the freaking air. I don't want this guy to to spiral his way down to the bay, down to the ground and mine stuff. I, I won't even put somebody there. I'll just upgrade it. Uh, there was another thing I saw. Quarry, yes. Uh, this is a simple quarry. This is a medium quarry. I don't really know what these do other than maybe they just mine blocks. Uh, it does say, oh no, I can actually build these. They aren't required with the, the, the research first. Okay. Uh, graves, that's the, as soon as the... Did it finish that research or not? I'm trying to remember. Um, <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, I if if I haven't uh, if I no I'm researching taunt. Ah, uh, the gravesite. I need to get the town hall too. 
<laughs> so I, I guess I need to upgrade this. Uh, that means if somebody dies, all their stuff gets put into a grave, which means I can recover the, the things that were on the body. So if some barbarians came and killed my, my poor builder, she's got tons of stuff on her inventory. That would be a pain to lose. And uh, having her going back and forth and back and forth like that is very annoying. So evidently she's working from the s north yeah because that's north uh the north to south uh east west on on the building so having these long horizontal east west buildings uh is kind of annoying because she has to keep going back and forth and back and forth oh well <laughs> it, it is what it is uh let me jump up here onto my flagpole here so uh like i said my colonies it's it's loads of fun uh, i did, did say that it kind of takes over a pack if you're constantly on top of it and working it uh, i i i love to afk doing stuff but i have to kind of keep an ear out for the 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 alarm of barbarians come through uh, there's only been three waves so so far uh ever since i i made the uh the research center back there i've not had a, a, an attack but i'm thinking as soon as the barrack is done I'll probably get another one and start. So, so one of the things I've been doing is instead of having my headsets plugged in, I've been having it just um, broadcasting the sound. And that way I could just, while I was doing work, you know, three feet away on my laptop, I, I could hear if there was anything happening and I could hear the rain fall. Um, and so I'd say, oh, well, time to sleep, you know, because the, the, the rain is annoying because it, it stops a lot of these workers from working. Uh, but uh, if if they were to have an attack, I should be able to hear. And then about, you know, every hour or so, I'd, I'd check my scroll and say, okay, what resources do you need? Fill you up. Okay, you're good. Go back to work. <laughs> so I, a lot more hands-on. But that's why I'm dumping a lot of resources there in the warehouse. So I don't have to be so hands-on. You know, the, the delivery guys give it over to the builder who builds my stuff and everything's good. Just slowly. <laughs> Anyway, this has been Grok the Deck Farmer here on the FTOG All the Mods 8 server. Having a blast with mine colonies. They're fun. There's a, a few things in here like the mystical site. I, I haven't explored yet. I need to read the wiki and build them and see what I can do with them because it sounds interesting and I'm not sure what it's going to do. And uh, yeah, uh, this this is just going to slowly grow building um, buildings around here and uh, until I've got, I would like to have every building. I think that would be really cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.